Okay, everyone, so, uh, the 721 assignment 2. So, there's a few things, few pieces of information we need to give you today. <coughs> the, um, what have you got to do? You've got to design, use from reference a design. You've got to design a circuit, test it the best you can in multi-sim, produce the PCB, these are all the things that you've been taught how to do. Um, export the PCB into a form which is compatible with the PCB manufacturer. Now Mike's going to show you in a minute, and we'll video that as well, it's going to show you how to export from Multisim in a form, and we're going to go with PCB Way, which also will show you that website in a minute. It's got to be in a format that's understood by PCB Way. It has to be two-sided, and it has to be a board smaller than 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. <coughs> Why? Well, because last year we had people that were making boards this big that were costing us 50, 60 pounds with about three components on it because they got the scaling wrong. So by insisting on that 100 by 100, we're going to hopefully curtail that problem. If you can't fit your circuit in 100 by 100, your circuit is far too complicated. It's the kind of message I think we're sending out here. Okay, any questions on that so far? <coughs> so there'll be a tutorial in a minute on how to produce or how to export the PCB into the correct format. Now, in this session, you've got to choose, or well, some of you may have already done so, but you need to choose which circuits you're going to build. Now, what circuits are there out there? Well, I mean, I've got some very simple examples here, a simple radio receiver or transmitter using transistors and discrete components. Problem with radios, it's almost impossible to simulate it in multi-sim. So that would mean that uh, your second report would have difficulty doing the simulation part. However, there are some very nice radios out there and uh, you can build a transmitter because we're amateur radio users so we can use your transmitter, or you can use your transmitter under our guidance if you wanted to build a transmitter. There are some nice simple ones out there. Another suggestion, these are only suggestions, digital capacitance meter, so a device you put the wires on and it tells you what the capacitance is. Uh, several people did the third one here last year, a bar graph based spectrum analyzer. So that's the sort of thing, a VU meter that you might see on a hi-fi. So you might connect it to the earphone jack of your phone and you would see LEDs jumping up and down in, in harmony to the music. Uh, a DC to AC inverter, we saw a couple of these last year. And what that is, that's the sort of thing that you'd have on a caravan, but we're not obviously going to make 240 volts, but it takes a DC level and turns it into an AC waveform so that you could use it on a domestic product of some description. Uh, resonant power transfer system, so we could transfer power from one coil to another coil, so we can have a driver circuit for that, or it says there a circuit of your own choosing, um, subject to approval. So let's just do this on the board. So let's have some suggestions as to what circuits you could choose. So you have to commit to it. I really recommend that you don't say, oh, I'm going to do this and then next week change your mind. So you need to be very fixed in what you're going to do and stay with it. So let's have some suggestions. This is what we did last year. It was quite successful. You can see the suggestions last year on uh, the 2018-2019 uh, page, which is also linked from Moodle. So what do you suggest, anyone? Any suggestions? Well, you had a mixing desk, didn't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> All right, so an audio mixer. We can have an audio mixer. We could have a digital circuit. A popular one is a digital dice. And what does the digital dice look like? Well, it just looks like this usually, and you just build a circuit that 
has the correct number of dots on it so that it represents a dice. That's another quite nice project. What else? You must have thought about it already. You know what the assignment is. <coughs> has anyone decided on anything yet? Could it be an ESC, an electronic speed control? Yes, it could be, yes. So, electronic speed controller. And if you're sensible about it, what you're going to do is you're going to find a website or a reference <coughs> that's going to explain to you quite well how that circuit works. So that would be one of the things I would be looking for if I was doing this. A good explanation that I could use. Anything else? There's thousands of circuits, isn't there? Somebody built a... Heart, heart monitor was a popular one last year, wasn't it? A heart monitor. Heart monitor, And yes, a step, a step counter, I think. Yeah, a heart monitor. Pedometer or whatever. Hang on. Step counter. Uh, we had timers, didn't we? So people have built countdown timers. There was a temperature sensor, wasn't there? There was temperature, yeah. So that was done with digital, so digital temperature. Of course the classic amplifier, but you've already built one of those. It was a, a, a projectile, projectile launcher. There was, wasn't there? <laughs> um, Mobile phone jammer. Hang on, um, what was the, uh, those projectile launchers, what are they called? Uh, it's a magnetic, uh, magnetic gun. Um, so the magnetic gun is a series of coils of wire going around a tube and you put a ferromagnetic projectile in there and you fire it using a MOSFET and that will all shoot out the end. Uh, they're quite fun those ones, we don't want anything too powerful. <laughs> It's unlikely you will unless you start getting to high voltages and uh, uh, very um, big MOSFETs. Uh, what yeah. else do we There's have? a mobile phone jammer. Yeah, we had a phone jammer. I'll go back to the black one, that's better. Quite easy to test, that one. Yes, it is easy to test, isn't it? What else? Wasn't there an aquarium light thing or something? An aquarium Someone did something with an aquarium, didn't they? What was that? Was that, uh, the, temperature, or was that the temperature thing? Well, um, that really comes under the digital timer, I think. Um, <coughs> on that subject, one I've just thought of is you could do an RGB LED mixer. So that you could switch on the R, the red, green, and uh, blue guns, <coughs> mixed colour according to maybe some knobs on the front or something like that. What else? I just trying to think. Uh, the trouble is, there's so many. That's yeah. that's the thing. They come under general categories. So you've got analog circuits, amplifiers. Oh, is that, so. There was a motor controller, wasn't there? Was yeah, but well, that's really the. Oh, yes, here. <coughs> Come on, somebody give me one. You must have thought about it a little bit. What circuit are you going to build? Uh, a MIDI control. A MIDI control. A MIDI MIDI control? control. Yes, you could. That's more likely to be an IC kind of solution, but yes, you could. Oh, there was a guitar pedal. There was a guitar yeah. pedal, yeah. That was quite a good one. <coughs> what else did we do? We've obviously got the ones up there on the board. Radio's a nice one. The inductors often prove, prove problematic. But you can also do that with an IC. Yeah. 
Home automation. Home automation. Small. Home automation. That could be something as simple as a timer that switches on a thyristor. Like you would do on a timer clock. Very quiet. A deadline's not, not passed yet. Isn't yeah, it? no, it's another, it's another 20, 30 minutes until the deadline. that's not an exclusive list, but if you've got no imagination, there are some suggestions for things that you could do. Now, you need to make that choice now, today, right now, because otherwise you're not going to have enough time to be able to do all the things that you've got to do. Okay, I'm going to carry on adding to that list over the day as we think of more and more things. But whatever your choice is, <coughs> You have to build it. Now, if you're going to build it, that means you've got to get the components. Mike, can you bring up the bill of materials uh, thing, please? It's on the 71 page, so just hit the back button there. And it's back again. Mike, it's under module resources. Right, at the bottom of the module resources. <coughs> Build materials. Now, there's a good chance that most of what you want we've already got. But there's also a good chance that you may want something that we don't hold in stores. You have to get that ordered. Now, you have to do that ordering through a bill of materials, which is going to go to Malcolm. Now, it has to come from one of two suppliers. Farnell or Rapid is the only two places we're going to permit you to buy from. What happens if you can't get what you want from either of those? If you want to buy it from somewhere else, buy it yourself. <coughs> or change the design slightly so that you can get those components from Rapid or Farnell. Within reason, we'll get you what you want, but if it's some kind of really odd 64-bit A to D that costs 300 quid or something, obviously the answer's no, but um, being reasonable about it,